It's been 40 years since President Nixon declared the war on drugs. Total war against dangerous drugs. On televisions across the nation, these primetime network dramas continue to depict this war. The Norman Lear Center at USC researched a year's worth of network TV to see how this war is being waged in primetime. The second part in a series on how primetime TV depicts both the war on terror and war on drugs. Finding America's most popular shows stay closer to reality than depicting common stereotypes about what drug users look like and what drugs Americans are abusing. Of the drugs used, sold, or manufactured in primetime, only 7% were cocaine, 11% heroin, heroin filled teddy bears, 19% methamphetamines, 15% of the time recreational marijuana was shown, 11% medicinal marijuana. That's always good the best dope. The most depicted drugs were legal prescription drugs, milligrams. which happen to cause more unintentional overdose deaths in America than heroin and cocaine combined. What about the offenders? In the real world, about 13% of drug users in the U.S. are black, but they make up over 43% of those incarcerated for drug violations. But in these shows, 65% of suspects were white. Only 19% were Latino. El Rojas. Ramona Rodriguez. Carlos Martinez. 15% black. What about those who get arrested for drugs on primetime television? Interestingly enough, drug users in these shows were not always portrayed as bad guys. Oh my God, this is amazing. And they were never arrested or tried. Ladies, refreshers. 72% of suspects who were manufacturing or selling drugs were arrested. These patterns may reflect an ambivalence about the war on drugs that we see in recent public opinion polls. Nearly two thirds of Americans still believe drug abuse is a serious problem, but 65% think that the war on drugs has failed, and only 8% of those polled describe it as successful. 87% of voters in the U.S. favor reducing prison time for low-risk, non-violent offenders. 27% of Americans think that drug possession or use should never result in incarceration. An additional 41% think that incarceration is only sometimes necessary. Primetime dramas don't always reflect the reality of the judicial system in America, but they do a pretty good job in reflecting the mixed feelings that Americans have about this 40-year-old war.